Swords and Sorcery, a little basic game for the TRS-80. You see that? It was actually a type-in game back in Byte Magazine or Cre Creative Computing. Sorry, I'll put I'll post the actual article in the in the description here. But it's a it's kind of a mixture of choose your own adventure, text adventure. Um, not really text adventure. It's more like choose your own adventure. But there are some inventory items you have to have to acquire to beat the game. And there's some random fighting. So here I'm falling. I'm fighting a troll, falling into a pit. So it gives you a running total how far you've gone. And you have to get far enough to get to a cave or something that you then can free the the ladies, <laughs> the, the princesses. Hey, I have an enchanted sword. That should help me fight, right? So the the random encounters you can die pretty easily. So th what happens is this game is actually a lot harder to win than initially it seems because of the random encounters, random deaths, instant deaths. Um, you fight trolls every so often. Here I'm going to fight another troll. The troll is dead. Oh no, I've fallen into a pit with millions of rats. You know, it's like just a bunch of random difficulties that you encounter on your way. Um, if you get a nymph at the beginning, she'll help you decide which way to go sometimes. Like there you go, the lot says one. Here we've come to a fork in the path. There's always a fork, and you can ask for directions, and she says which way to go. I don't know if it matters much. It might shorten your distance overall. But, well, that was weird. The troll ran. I'm not sure. I know it's going by fast, but you'll get the idea here. I'm now at 154 kilometers amount of food. Uh, I'm going to die because you go to move on, and I'm not dead. I don't know why I'm not dead, but uh, Nymph doesn't know. Another troll. The troll runs. I fall into a pit. You see what's happening. It's <laughs> calling for help now. I'm rescued by one. Okay, so you can be rescued by different people, and th there's one big bad guy in here. It's like a sorcerer, necromancer, or something like that. It's a little bit of a, you know, Tolkien in here. Uh, the the nymphs and stuff like the trolls, whatnot. Um, I've got 184, and I still haven't find found the cave yet. Oh, ah, and there you go. See, this troll killed me. A bunch of them ran. A bunch of them I won when I beat them. So let's start over. I like this big text thing. TRS-80 has like two text modes. It's like the 80 column and the 40 column. This is the 40 column mode. It's kind of fun. It's kind of easy to read. It goes past quickly. Um, I think this the smaller text looks nicer for text adventure games for sure. But um, this one works for Swords and Sorcery. A little bit bigger font. Okay, so I'm going to go through this again and you'll see fork in the road, trolls, this is pretty, you know, oh, I sword, so you fight better when you come to the ending, so it's nice to, I said, I got to a dead end here, so you got to backtrack a little, so your, your, your running total is the kilometers, so if look at the 50 kilometers, again, it says I'm out of food, so I don't know what that means, because last time it didn't seem to do anything, uh, snakes every time, falling into pits all the time, okay, so this is important, gold, you have to actually take a, it says how many sacks will you take. It slows you down, right? So you don't want too many, but if you don't have gold, you can't get the better ending at the end of the game, I learned. So we'll have to see that when we get there. But got to take some gold, and you have to stumble across the gold in your quest. Otherwise, you can get to the ending without any gold, and, and you can win, but it's not the good ending. It's just kind of a, a an ending. Uh, so snakes, fork in the path. Here we go again, another troll, and I died again. So here's where I jumped into the code, the basic code, found where the troll can kill you and made it so he couldn't kill me anymore. And here's another random encounter where you can get captured by goblins and you can trade, if you have a magic sword, you can trade and escape, um, which I did there because I don't know if the magic sword really does a whole lot, especially now that I can defeat the troll every single time because I modified the, co the code. I just want to see what the ending's like, right? I don't want to have to keep randomly fighting. I mean, eventually you'll win if you play it long enough. It's just random, but I don't want to wait that long. I just wanted to see what the game is like. So, you'll see when we come to a troll. I shall beat him now every time, I think. Set setters. I don't know what set. Oh, okay, yeah, here we are. This is the first one. It's like a champion fight. you got to beat the champion. So, here's a large troll, and uh, it's the champion of the setters. We're circling for position. He attacks. You circle for position again. Then he t t does some kind of attack, and you have it. It's like you know, uh, typical RPG where they throw dice, and you have one attack, and they have one attack, and tells you what's going on. He tries to head cut. You stagger away. 
circling for position. Uh, uh, he tries a head cut. Uh, he's staggering. I'm not doing very well. I do not think this is going well. Yeah. Another place you can die is the champion fight. Okay, so time to modify the code again, which I did. Now we're back in the game at a later point, and I've modified the code so that I won't lose to the champion. So I need to see what's after that. So here we are at a champion again. I'm scoring to his body. <laughs> Score. <laughs> he attacks. You parry. You got his leg. Yay! He's going down. I scored again with his body. To his, yeah. Uh, good. Stopped his blow on the shield. I mean, on the sword. <laughs> Stopped his blow. He's blowing me? Um, takes a wild cut. Uh, these battles can go on for quite some time. I get it. If you're going to type in a basic game, you don't want it over quickly. But, you know, from a gameplay perspective, when you're just playing it, it can drag. It's dragging now, obviously. But um, I'm going to leave you in suspense. Because I had to go through all the suspense of seeing if I would win seeing if my little code modification worked or if I died again he's down I finished him off ha 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 it did work I, th I put something where instead of the go to when you die I had to go back to another circle so <laughs> you could never really die alright so we're continuing on troll oh I didn't I missed that troll I oh, okay fixed that code now back of the game I meet an escaped slave girl that's great. So I have freed her, and she's traveling with me now. The goblins captured me. Give him a, a sword. Trolls fighting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him. I had to trade that code. And maybe I didn't change that code. I can't remember exactly. I'm trying to narrate the game after I've played it, but um, because I can't narrate and play, it just doesn't work for me. <laughs> All right. So we're doing the circling thing. I'll skip ahead to the end of this one because you don't need to see this again. So here's one of the endings. It's the necromancer, and the women are sent to him as playthings, and you are transformed into a gelded water buffalo and driven into a pit. Boy, did you lose. That's the worst ending. So that happens if you don't beat the uh, the guy at the end, and you run into the necromancer somewhere along the way. See? Told you. Tolkien. Necrom necromancer. Um, maybe not. I mean, it's not the only place it's ever heard of. I know. So we are fighting again at the champion stage so it's like every time I'm showing you this remember I had to go through all the beginning walking along falling into pits and fighting snakes and trolls and that's why I kind of tried to modify the code so I didn't die so I keep getting to this place no problem now I've modified it to beat him I want to show you what happens when you win there you go you've finished him off and you've released the princess see now now what we've released the princess we've got to get to the end of the road kill the necromancer too I, I can't remember but I've released the princess so let's continue on it, wow I made it I'm a hero but see I'm too poor that time I did not run across the gold I can't marry the princess and I have to live the rest of my life in quiet poverty all by my lonesome that sucks here's the good ending you made it you're a hero and of course you marry the princess because you have gold and of course all princesses need gold so anyway Funny little game. It was a type in and uh, it was kind of an early RPG slash CRPG ish, you know, so that's why people have made comments about it. And uh, now you got to see it without having to boot it up in your old machine. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.